Yo, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how is the Lineage OS 14.1 official holding up on the Redmi Note 3. So without further ado, let's make it happen. Well, in my opinion, if you wanna feel a little bit nostalgic and go back to Android Nougat kind of situation here, you can definitely flash this ROM as this is the most stable Nougat ROM I have seen and everything works super fine here, fingerprint scanner, Wi-Fi, camera, Vaulty, everything works. Though there is no Vaulty icon, but Vaulty video calls and audio calls like the voice calls work super fine here. And even banking apps like Taze does work fine as you can see, let me just show you. As you can see, it works like all the banking apps does work super fine even without flashing magic. so that's a great thing. And the ROM is super smooth as you can see. I'm using a pixel launcher by the way, it's a modded pixel launcher. And if you just go into settings and as you can see the quick settings panel over here is dark and you can just swipe and edit more stuff from here as you can see. You have the live display option if you want that as you can see the night mode is enabled right now so the display is like a little bit yellow. And in hotspot as you can see let me just show you on Wi-Fi hotspots we have the 5 GHz option to enable so yeah that's a good thing. And what else? Let me just show you the about section. As you can see, it does support OTA updates. You can check for updates from here. And this is a official ROM, so you don't have to worry about updates. Though it's still on Nougat, we can't help it. But the audio based Lineage OS is testing on unofficial builds, like from past couple of months. I don't know when it will be official or it will be even official or not. But yeah, it's still in testing. But this one is still nightly even though it's official so that's a good thing as you can see android version is 7.1.2 nougat and lineage os version as you can see this is the 17th august 2018 build the security patch over here is august 5th 2018 and what else here is the stock kernel version if you want to see it so yeah and in terms of customizations we have the double tap to sleep as you can see we don't have the double tap to wake as far as i know and let me just unlock all right and you can just adjust the brightness from the status bar from here as you can see and in terms of customizations we have some more over here as you can see over here it says status bar so let me just go inside it we have the quick pull down option as you can see if I choose right as you can see it just pulls down all the way up and we have network traffic indicator if you want that we have notification count option we have system UI icons like headset Bluetooth etc icons and you can just enable to show seconds as you can see to 4 o'clock and you can just enable AM PM like customize AM PM style like small or normal you can change clock position to center if you want that as you can see just change the clock position on the center and you can change the battery style if you want that and you can change the battery icon position brightness slider auto brightness brightness control I have shown you the brightness control thing let me just go back in buttons we have like the on-screen navigation bar as you can see you can use these if you want to and we have some power menu customizations from here as you can see and what else we have the automatically like torch press over here long press for torch as you can see it works even when the screen is off so yeah that's a good thing and you can customize the long press and double press action for home menu and back keys and let me just check if you can like set screenshot uh, I think you can't set screenshot and stuff like nitrogen OS or resection and remix so that's a downside I don't know and we have some volume panel customizations and one good thing that I like over in gestures or let me just show you the gestures we have the double tap to sleep gesture and jump to camera which is the boring stuff and one good thing that I like is you can like the control the haptic feedback all over the UI as you can see from other sounds you have this vibrator intensity from here you can control the haptic feedback which gives like which comes from these keys you can just control it you can just increase it or decrease it as you can see 
and everything works super fine here in terms of stock camera we have snapdragon camera over here as you can see but you can use gc mod 5 too i have installed gc mod 5 and let me just open it where is it all right now let me just see yeah i have to change the settings so let me just do it quickly so yeah as you can see portrait mode is here and if i just switch to front camera and let me just take a portrait selfie so as you can see it did the background blurring thing pretty well as you can see the camera is blurred over here and in the normal picture as you can see the camera is still there and all right it's blurred so yeah gc mod 5 is working super fine as you can see and if you talk about like opening app speed and ram management well i have seen the ram management is pretty good i have a 3 gb ram variant over here for the redmi note 3 and if i just try to open some few apps let me just show you the app of love speeds As you can see there is a minor lag if you ask me like while opening apps from memory did you notice it but as you can see the animation there is a minor lag but it works fine the app is in memory so yeah i don't have any complaints right there and the whole ui like feels smooth enough as you can see As you can see, the whole UI feels smooth enough considering it's a Nougat based ROM. It's pretty smooth. And in terms of battery life, well, I'm getting like average battery life not so good because the device is already so old. Let me just show you. As you can see, I got around 1 hour and 13 minutes of screen on time over here. And still 74% battery left, which is good enough for a 3 year old device in my opinion. And I was like doing Facebook browsing youtube and stuff like that and did some voice calls too as you can see 26 minutes of voice calls so yeah the battery life is good considering that it's a nougat based rom and it's pretty stable in my opinion like if you compare it with other audio based roms the battery life is good enough over here And if you talk about gaming performance, well, let me show you some PUBG gameplay over here. PUBG was actually quite surprisingly playable and the phone did not heat up much at all. Though don't get me wrong there was a little bit of frame drops here and there which is supposed to happen I guess but it did not hamper my gameplay at all. But while I was trying to get the Antutu benchmark scores the phone just reboots every time in Antutu testing. I don't know for what particular reason but yeah that's how it is. But I could manage to get the Geekbench 4 score and here as you can see the score from the screen. Now enjoy the gameplay.
So in my frank opinion, if you want a good old custom ROM which is based on Android Nougat on your Redmi Note 3 with latest security patch and minimal customizations, this is the one you should go with. That wraps up today's video guys, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet, thanks so much for watching guys. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one.